It is my great honor to welcome everyone to the 2021 Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation Virtual Awards presentation. My name is Paul Sealing, and I'm the immediate past president of the WNA. I am the proud publisher of the Sun Argus and Woodville Leader Weekly newspapers. Our small firm, Gateway Publishing, is based in Spring Valley, Wisconsin, which is 24 miles east of Hudson, Wisconsin. This is our time to recognize the amazing work of our peers in this essential industry. Did you know that the WNA is one of the oldest press associations in America? The Wisconsin Newspaper Association was established in 1853. It was created by and for Wisconsin newspapers. May I encourage all members and guests to join the conversation on social media by tagging us at WNA underscore news on Twitter or at Wisconsin Newspaper Association on Facebook. Viewers, please know that the WNA will be continuing to share award-winning stories, photos, videos, and more on its social networks, website, and via email. Now, before we get started, let's take a moment to pause and reflect on our friends and colleagues who have passed away during the last year.
Our deepest sympathies are extended to the families and communities who have lost their dear ones. Those that were publishers will have their names inscribed on the permanent granite memorial pylon with other publishers on the Trees for Tomorrow campus on Eagle River, Wisconsin. Now, I would like you to know that as much as I thought about stopping the steal, Greg Walker has actually been carrying on the duties of WNA president for nearly a year now. With the cancellation of the convention last March, due to the pandemic, I didn't get the chance to pass the gavel to Greg. And to make a few remarks as the outgoing 2019 president. And even though Beth gave me 45 minutes like past president Skip Bliss had, I will be brief. This has been one of the highest honors of my life to be president in 2019. I got into this business late in life. And in 2004, when I founded Gateway Publishing, we joined the WNA right away and have never regretted doing so. The benefits of being a member of the WNA are numerous and priceless. There is knowledge shared and gained. Time and time again, I have witnessed our association working for us on so many fronts. The networking alone has been fantastic. The WNA really does exist to strengthen the newspaper industry, enhance the public understanding of the role of newspapers, and protect basic freedoms of press, speech, and the free flow of information. I won't go into the malarkey about newspapers dying, as we all know that isn't true. We have been on the forefront of dispelling that nonsense every day, and we must continue to do so. We are the best defenders of our democracy, and we prove it every day, and cannot be dissuaded from that duty to America. Each one of you knows the value you bring to your communities, no matter how large or small they are as you work increasingly to chronicle their lives and events. There is no room for alternative facts in your dedication to finding the facts, the truth, and telling the stories, taking the photographs, and recording the videos that your audience has come to depend on you for. It was David Lynch who said that negativity is the enemy of creativity. Therefore, never give into it and never give up. Out of the blue, I was asked to serve one year on the remainder of a vacant two-year term to represent the Northwest District weekly newspapers on the WNA board in February of 2011. I was clueless of what that would entail. And I have been honored to continue to learn and serve on the board and to serve in other officer positions. After that service of nearly 10 years, I understand so much more about the industry and the outstanding people in it. You are a dedicated bunch unlike so many others in other avocations. The Wisconsin Newspaper Association represents you well every day, 365 days a year. Allow me to thank the other board members who come from large, medium, and small newspapers and media companies. Your dedication to this industry is exemplary and you deserve so much recognition for your commitment to the WNA. Thank you for your kindness and cooperation as we tackled so many important WNA issues together. And lastly, to Beth Bennett and the tireless WNA staff of Julia Hunter, Denise Gallery, Jordan Schilling, and Daryl Balmer. You deserve the highest praise for all that you do for the membership of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. I thank you and the association thanks you too. You are the best. Mr. Rogers wrapped up his program as he always did by hanging up his sweater and saying, 
You make every day a special day just by being you. And I like you just the way you are. Thank you for letting me be your neighbor and your 2019 WNA president. Paul, on behalf of the WNA, I'd like to present the gavel for your past presidency and I'd like to say you were one hell of a president. It's big shoes for me to follow. You did a great job. I admired you always at the at the board level and the things you had to say. And, uh, and as I come in, I inherit a great staff and I feel we're on the right path to doing a lot of great things, even though we're struggling with COVID and everything we face. Yeah. I think we're uh, we're going to come out on the end of this looking really good, and and it's people like Paul and the past presidents and the past publishers of the WNA that have made this a great organization for well over a hundred years. So with that, Paul, here's your plaque. Well, thank you, Greg. I'm, yep. I'm honored to get this. This is this is a great honor for me, and I'm really pleased. And and I follow in some pretty big shoes. So and I know you're going to do a great job. Well, thank you, Paul. Yes. Also, to keep with a great tradition of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association that's probably been going on for about 100 years is the buckboard. So, Paul, with that, I'm going to present the buckboard. As you can see, it's a, a dollar from everybody on the WNA board and a little saying. I won't get into the sayings. There's some really good ones, though. Paul deserves them all. <laughs> and with that, here's the buckboard for being our past president. Well, thank you. thank you, Greg. This is this is an honor I've always admired, and now at least I have a few bucks in case I need them. <laughs> it is my great honor to now present Greg Walker with the presidential gavel, and I know you will use it very effectively. Yes, I will. I'm going to stop the steal. <laughs> there you go. We'll stop the steal. <laughs> Thank right. you very much, Paul, and I, I look forward to it. And like I said, we have a we have some bumps in the in the road, but we're gonna smooth them out and we're gonna have a good good run here for the next year or two. You've got a good board. Yep. And you, and I'll be there with you as the, the past president. Yep. So, thank you, Paul. All right, thank you, Greg. Hi there. Welcome to the Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation Better Newspaper Contest Award Ceremony brought to you in February of 2021. My name is Scott Peterson, and I'm the president of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation. Just came in from shoveling, because we all know that in Wisconsin, we love to shovel. Almost as much as we love the Super Bowl. Uh, too soon, sorry. In the newspaper world, this is the time of year we all look forward to the thing that we enjoy the most, and that's the WNA Awards. There's no substitute for getting praise from our from our colleagues, and this recognition is just part of that. We wish we could all be here in person for this moment, but because of the pandemic, we're doing this virtually. We wish that you would all take some time to thank your and praise your uh, colleagues who win awards after the esteemed Dave Bennett announces them in the program that follows. Meantime, let's take a moment, a Wisconsin moment, and enjoy a platter of cheese. And pour yourself a Wisconsin beverage that you can be proud of. A brandy old fashioned sweet is my choice. I usually keep one or three on hand, just for moments like this. And make sure they're properly mouthed. For those of you who are going to walk away from the ceremony without an award, I will just tell you this. This is the time of year when we all make the solemn vow that next year we'll get our own. Meantime, remember that there's a lot of cheese platters and a lot of ice buckets in this world but the WNA Awards are one of a kind. Beth Bennett and her amazing staff at the Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation put together this great program we're about to see. Let's take a moment to look at the program and wish you all best of luck.
Greetings, everyone. My name is Dave Bennett, and it's a great personal pleasure for me to join you again this year. As you know, I've done this a number of years, and I'm, I'm really thrilled to be back with, with you. As you know, this year's awards presentation is a virtual presentation. And of course, that came about because the WNA board and the WNA Foundation board decided that it was in the best interests of everyone's health and safety concerns to have both a virtual convention as well as a virtual awards presentation. So while this may be a virtual presentation, there's nothing virtual about your entries. And shortly you will see the many examples of outstanding news and editorial and advertising messages that show the excellence of, of Wisconsin newspapers' commitments to their communities in real time. This past year was an un, unusually extraordinary year for all of you. And I would say that you probably had to work differently in a way that you probably have never had to work in your entire careers. But despite the, the problems of, uh, that were going on in our communities, you rose to the occasion, and I would say that your talents and the need for you to help clarify the issues that faced your readers and the citizens in your communities has never and was never greater than it was during this past year. Just think about the unusual challenges that you faced in your communities. Here are just a, uh, a handful of examples. The obvious health threat that every community faced due to the coronavirus pandemic. Our country's ongoing struggle with racial strife. Many of you had to deal with this in a very, very personal way. And the growing hostility of the deeply partisan political landscape that seems to be facing all of us. And these are just three examples among many that face communities. And they all created an enormous hot need for high quality journalism, for high quality involvement by people like you to keep your citizens informed and an understanding about what these issues mean to their lives. And once again, Wisconsin newspapers and Wisconsin newspaper people rose to the occasion and have given their readers, as evidenced by the, the awards that you're going to see tonight, the best journalism to help understand these issues. So tonight, we honor Wisconsin journalism, but we also honor you. This year's contest was judged by the Texas Press Association. We had 2,051 entries submitted by 103 newspapers. We will start with the advertising portion of the contest, followed by the editorial awards. The contest is broken up by circulation size into six divisions, three weekly and three daily. As a reminder, for any category that received three or fewer entries within a single division, the entries in that division have been combined with and judged against the next highest division. For any category that received fewer than 10 submissions across all daily or all weekly divisions, those entries have been judged as one daily or weekly category. So without further ado, let's start the show. Best ongoing niche publication. Weekly division, third place, Chris Frame, the Lakeland Times, Monaco. Second place, staff, the Sun, Osceola. And first place, Paul Mitchell, Darren White, Sawyer County, record, Hayward. Daily division, first place, Emily Koch, Beloit Daily News. Best Niche Product, Division E, third place, Emily Koch, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Second place, Jamie Tran and Laura Hughes, the Monroe Times. And first place, Bill Thornley, Janice Redman, Michelle Carlson, Deb Fosberg Wheeler of the Spooner Advocate. Division D, third place, 
Chris Frame, Yvonne Immel, and Buzzy Mode of the Lakeland Times, Monaco. Second place, Chris Frame, the Lakeland Times, Monaco. And first place, Paul Mitchell, Darren White, Sawyer County Record, Hayward. Daily Division, third place, Staff, Daily Globe, Ironwood. Second place, Staff, Beloit Daily News. And first place, Melissa Kowalczyk and the advertising staff of the Eagle Herald, Marinette. Best Special Section Advertising. Division F. Third place, Catherine Stang, the Stoughton Courier Hub. Second place, Brian Thompson, Mary Thompson, Don Kuntz, the Valders Journal. And first place, staff, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division E, third place, Laura Hughes, Ty Ruxiker, Lance Ray, Diane Albright, the Monroe Times. Second place, Steve Targo, Dwayne Hove, Robert Ireland, Phil Bonata, Lake Geneva Regional News. First place, Steve Targo, Robert Ireland, Phil Bonata, Dwayne Hove, Lake Geneva Regional News. Division D, third place, the staff of the Star News Medford. Second place, staff, Star News Medford. And first place, Sasha Case, Laura Larson, Tony Loomis, Heather Holmes, the Lakeland Times, Monaco. Daily Division, third place, staff, Beloit Daily News. Second place, staff, Daily Globe Ironwood. First place, staff, the Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Best Newspaper Promotion, Division F, third place, Joy Dane, Courier Sentinel, Cornell. Second place, Kerry Cornelius, Sun Argus, Spring Valley. And first place, the staff of the Record Review, Edgar. Division D, third place, Betsy Bolden, Kurt Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. Second place, Betsy Bolden and Kurt Krieger, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. And first place, Chris Wing, Josie Gerzek, Superior Telegram. Daily Division, third place, Sarah Van Galder, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Staff, Daily Globe, Ironwood. And first place, Sarah Van Galder, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Use of Humor. Weekly Division, second place, Sally Shepard, Ann Jacobson, Hudson Star Observer. First place, Gary Androsky, Superior Telegram. Daily Division, second place, Sam Morgan, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, the staff of the Daily Globe, Ironwood. Best Use of Local Photography, Weekly Division, second place, Julie Seifert, the Star News, Medford. First place, Betsy Bolden, Kirk Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division. First place, the staff of the Daily Globe, Ironwood. Best use of art service. Division F. Third place, staff, the Record Review, Edgar. Second place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. And first place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County, Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division D, third place, design team of the Star News, Medford. Second place, Michelle Lathrop, Greg Walker, and staff, the Lakeland Times, Manaqua. First place, Mandy Troiber, the Star News, Medford. Daily Division, second place, the staff of Daily Globe, Ironwood. First place, Melissa Kowalczyk of the Eagle Herald, Marinette. Best Multiple Advertising Spread, Division F. Third place, Brian Thompson, The Valders Journal. Second place, Catherine Stang, The Stoughton Courier Hub. First place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division E. Third place, Laura Hughes, Lance Ray, Ty Rigsaker, and Diane Albright of the Monroe Times. Second place, Laura Hughes, Lance Ray, Ty Rigsaker, and Diane Albright of the Monroe Times. And first place, Kim Corpion, Courier Press, Prairie du Chien. 
Division D, third place, Staff, Lakeland Times, Monaco. Second place, Scott Blatchford, John Badger, Craig Maki, and Megan Keller of the Superior Telegram. First place, Betsy Bolden and Staff of the Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division, third place, Melissa Kowalczyk, Eagle Herald Marinette. Second place, the staff of the Watertown Daily Times, and first place, the staff of the Daily Globe, Ironwood. Best Use of Color, Division F. Second place, Joy Dane, Courier Sentinel, Cornell. First place, staff, the Record Review, Edgar. Division E, second place, Laura Hughes, the Monroe Times. First place, Lance Ray, the Monroe Times. And Division D, third place, Tony Loomis and staff of the Lakeland Times, Monaco. Second place, Tony Loomis and Chris Frame, the Lakeland Times, Monaco. And first place, Betsy Bolden, Kurt Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division, first place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Ad Idea, Series, Division E, third place, Staff of the Record Review, Edgar. Second place, Ann Rupp, Carol Tyson, The Platteville Journal. First place, Jessica Brownell, Kevin Kelly, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division D, third place, Laura Larson, Buzzy Mode, Chris Frame, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Second place, Heather Holmes, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. And first place, Betsy Bolden, Joe Daniel, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division, second place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Small Ad, third place, Donna Larson, The Verona Press. Second place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. First place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division E, third place, Diane Albright, The Monroe Times. Second place, Ty Ruxiker, The Monroe Times. And first place, Laura Hughes, The Monroe Times. Division D, third place, Julie Seifert, Star News Medford. Second place, Donna Kaufman, Molly Burlingame, Tasha Kenyon, Hudson Star Observer. And first place, Betsy Bolden, Joe Daniel, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division, third place, Nina Perona, the Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. First place, guess who? Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Large Ad, Division F. Third place, Donna Larson, The Verona Press. Second place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. First place, Jessica Brownell, Jody White, Fenimore Times. Division D, third place. Heather Holmes, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Second place, Betsy Bolden, Kurt Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. First place, the staff, Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Daily Division. Third place, Jody Wise, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Jody Wise, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Real Estate Ad, Weekly Division. Third place, Alexis Dietz, Kim Quinones, and the creative team of the Superior Telegram. Second place, Jolene Noss, Bethany Loida, Hudson Star Observer. And first place, the staff of the Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Daily Division, third place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Nina Perona, Gazette, 
Janesville. Best Restaurant Ad. Weekly Division. Third place. Betsy Bolden. Joe Daniel. The Vilas County News Review. Eagle River. Second place. Eric Olson. Creative Team. And Molly Burlingame. Hudson Star Observer. First place. Buzzy Mode. Greg Walker. The Lakeland Times. Manaqua. Daily Division. Third place. Jody Wise, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Jody Wise, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Jody Wise, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Grocery Ad, Weekly Division. First place, Tony Loomis, Chris Frame, Michelle Lathrop, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Daily Division, first place, the staff of the Daily Globe, Ironwood. Now it is time for the Bill Payne Memorial Award. This award is given to the best locally prepared ad of the year. Bill Payne was the advertising director at the Wausau Daily Herald for 18 years, serving from 1937 to 1955. Bill also was the founding on the founding team of the Wisconsin Newspaper Advertising Executives Association. And shortly after the association's inception, Bill died in a tragic automobile accident on December 15, 1955, at the age of 46. The following year, in 1956, the WNAEA Board of Directors began this award in Bill's honor. Division E, third place, Diane Albright, The Monroe Times. Second place, staff, the record review, Edgar. And first place, Jessica Brownell, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division D. Third place, Chris Frame, Greg Walker, the Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Second place, the staff of the Lakeland Times, Manaqua. And first place, Betsy Bolden, Kurt Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Phyllis County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division. Third place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Nina Perona, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Jody Wise, The Gazette, Janesville. Before we get started with the editorial and photography portions of tonight's presentation, Let's take a moment to look back at some of the most outstanding photographs of the year.
Best Video, Weekly Division, Third Place, Hannah Kirby, Southwest Now, West Allis. Second Place, Hannah Kirby, Southwest Now, West Allis. And First Place, Scott Williams, Lake Geneva, Regional News. Division B, Third Place, Torque Mason, Wausau Daily Herald. Second Place, Gary Klein. Herald Times reporter, Manitowoc. First place, Gary Klein, the Sheboygan Press. And Division A. Third place, Elizabeth Beyer, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Sarah Klepping, Green Bay Press Gazette. And first place, Sarah Klepping, Rich Ryman, Green Bay Press Gazette. Visual Storytelling, Weekly Division. Third place, Scott Williams, Lake Geneva Regional News. Second place, Dean Hall, Yvonne Immel, the Lakeland Times, Manaqua. And first place, Troy Becker, Hudson Star Observer. Daily Division. Third place, Brett Christopherson, Jim Rosendick, and Ricardo Arguello, the Post Crescent, Appleton. Second place, Sarah Klepping, Green Bay Press Gazette. And first place, Brett Christofferson, Jim Rosendick, Ricardo Arguello, and Bill Glasheen, the Post Crescent Appleton. Overall page design. Weekly division. Third place, Steve Prestigard, the Platteville Journal. Second place, Jason Niles, the Platteville Journal. And first place, Gary Ritterbush and Gene Drew, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division, third place, Jason Juno, Daily Globe Ironwood, second place, Greg Little, The Gazette, Janesville, and first place, Craig Spicala, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Photo Gallery, Weekly Division, third place, Scott Ash, Waukesha County Now, second place, Jed Carlson, Superior Telegram. And first place, Scott Ash, Lake Country Now, Heartland. Division B, third place, Gary Klein, the Sheboygan Press. Second place, Gary Klein, the Sheboygan Press. And first place, Dan Powers, Oshkosh Northwestern. And Division A, third place, Ruthie Hauge, the Cap Times, Madison. Second place, Anthony Wall, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Ruthie Hauge, The Cap Times, Madison. Photo Essay, Division F. Third place, Ross Patterman, The Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. Second place, Ross Patterman, The Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. And first place, Brian Thompson, the Valder's Journal. Division D, third place, Mark Justison, News Graphic Cedarburg. Second place, Jacob Sieg and Shireen Seward of the Wausau Pilot and Review. And first place, Dean Hall, the Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Division C, third place, Richard Jenkins, Daily Globe Ironwood. Second place, Bob Mayhart, Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. And first place, Gary Klein, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. And Division A, third place, Dan Powers, The Post Crescent, Appleton. Second place, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal. And first place, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Artistic Photo, Division F. Third place, Kevin O'Brien, The Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. Second place, Emily Schendel, Fenimore Times. And first place, Brian Thompson, The Valder's Journal. Division D. Third place, Scott Ash, Lake Country Now, Heartland. Second place, Brett Kussmeier, Peninsula Pulse, Bailey's Harbor. And first place, Carrie Griebenau, 
Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Division C, third place, Jamie Taylor, the Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Dean Hall, Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. And first place, Doug Raflick, the reporter, Fond du Lac. Division B, third place, Rick Gebhardt, Eagle Herald Marinette. Second place, Dan Ryland, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. And first place, Dan Ryland, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Ebony Cox, Green Bay Press Gazette. And first place, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Feature photo, Division F. Third place, Peter Weinshank, The Record Review, Edgar. Second place, Brian Thompson, The Valders Journal. First place, Ross Patterman, The Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. Division E, third place, Connor Karinsky, Lake Geneva Regional News. Second place, Mitchell Keller, Dodge County Pioneer, Mayville. And first place, Mitchell Keller, Dodge County Pioneer, Mayville. Division D, third place, Scott Ash, Northwest Now, Germantown. Second place, Kerry Griebenau, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. And first place, Scott Ash, Northwest Now, Germantown. Division C, third place, Scott Raflick, The Reporter, Fond du Lac. Second place, Dean Hall, The North Woods River News, Rhinelander. First place, Torque Mason, Stevens Point Journal. Division B, third place, Dan Ryland, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Second place, Torque Mason, Wausau Daily Herald. And first place, Dan Ryland, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. And Division A, third place, Sean Krajicek, Kenosha News. Second place, Anthony Wall, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, John Hart, The Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Sports feature photo. Division F, third place, Jeff Sizer, The Courier, Waterloo. Second place, Brian Thompson, The Valders Journal. And first place, Ross Patterman, the Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. Division D, third place, Scott Ash, West Now, Wauwatosa. Second place, Scott Ash, South Now, Oak Creek. And first place, Doug Etten, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Division B, third place, Jeremy Mayo, Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Bob Maynard, the Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. And first place, Rick Gebhardt, Eagle Herald, Marinette. And Division A. Third place, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Anthony Wall, the Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Bill Glasheen, Green Bay Press, Gazette. Sports Action Photo. Division F. Third place, Ross Patterman, The Record Review, Edgar. Second place, Ross Patterman, The Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. First place, Brian Thompson, The Valders Journal. Division E, third place, Mark Bell, Barron News Shield. Second place, Andrew Tucker, Lake Geneva Regional News. And first place, Adam Krebs, The Monroe Times. Division D. Third place, Dean Hall, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Second place, Scott Ash, Waukesha County Now. And first place, Brian Wilson, The Star News, Medford. Division C. Third place, Torque Mason, Stevens Point Journal. Second place, Jason Juno, Daily Globe Ironwood. And first place, Brandon Berg, the Chippewa Herald. And Division A, 
Third place, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal Madison. Second place, Torque Mason, Wausau Daily Herald. And first place, Anthony Wall, The Gazette, Janesville. Spot News Photo, Division F. Third place, Emily Schendel, Fenimore Times. Second place, Tyler Florzak, The Chatech Alert. First place, Jenny Young, Courier Sentinel, Cornell. Division E, second place, Mark Bell, Barron News Shield. First place, Phil Bagnata, Lake Geneva Regional News. Division D, third place, Mark Justison, News Graphic Cedarburg. Second place, Brett Kosmider, Peninsula Pulse, Bailey's Harbor. And first place, Luke Klink, Lady Smith News. Division C. Second place, Gary Klein, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. First place, Bridget Cook, Baraboo News Republic. Division B. Second place, Rick Gebhardt, Eagle Herald, Marinette. First place, Dan Ryland, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. And Division A, third place, Anthony Wall, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Ebony Cox, Green Bay Press Gazette. And first place, Bill Glasheen, The Post Crescent, Appleton. General News Photo, Division F. Third place, Brian Thompson, The Valders Journal. Second place, Charles Preuser. Crawford County Independent and the Kickapoo Scout, Gaze Mills. And first place, Kevin O'Brien, the Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. Division D, third place, Kerry Griebenau, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. Second place, Scott Ash, Lake Country Now, Heartland. First place, Scott Ash, West Now, Wauwatosa. Division C, third place, Gary Klein, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. Second place, Jamie Taylor, the Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. And first place, Susan Endress, Portage Daily Register. Division B, third place, Dan Powers, Oshkosh Northwestern. Second place, Rick Gebhardt, Ego Herald, Marinette. And first place, Gary Klein, the Sheboygan Press, and Division A, third place, Bill Glasheen, the Post Crescent Appleton, second place, Steve Apps, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison, first place, Amber Arnold, the Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Rookie Reporter of the Year, Weekly Division, third place, Connor Korinsky, Lake Geneva Regional News. Second place, Brett Labor, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. And first place, Mackenzie Crummy, The Stoughton Courier Hub. Daily Division. Third place, Anne Marie Hilton, The Sheboygan Press. Second place, Natalie Yar, The Cap Times, Madison. And first place, Emily Hamer, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Local Outdoor Column, Overall Division. Third place, Bill Thornley, Spooner Advocate. Second place, Eric Schmolt, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Kurt Krieger, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Local Sports Column, Division E. Third place, Steve Prestigard, The Platteville Journal. Second place, Jeff Sizer, Sun Prairie Star. First place, Adam Krebs, The Monroe Times. Division D, third place, Brett Labor, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Second place, Zach Bellman, Trempolo County Times, Whitehall. And first place, Dave Baylor, The Review, Plymouth. Division B, third place, Brandon Berg, the Chippewa Herald. Second place, Brock Fritz, Baraboo News Republic. And first place, Peter Jackal, the 
Journal Times Racine. Division A, third place, Dan Trutchell, Kenosha News. Second place, Eric Schmolt, The Gazette, Janesville. And first place, Jason Joyce, The Cap Times, Madison. Local column, Division F, third place, Bill Thornley, Spooner Advocate. Second place, Jane Schmidt, Crawford County Independent and the Kickapoo Scout Gaze Mills. First place, Rebecca Lindquist, Kernier Sentinel, Cornell. Division E, third place, Kate Gardner, Lake Geneva Regional News. Second place, Bob Zantera, Barron News Shield. And first place, Adam Krebs, the Monroe Times. Division D, third place, Kathy Hansen, the Sawyer County Record, Hayward. Second place, Tim Ryan, New Media, Shawano. First place, Patty C., The Country Today, Eau Claire. Division B, third place, Pam Chickering Wilson, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Second place, Patty C., Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. First place, B.J. Hollers, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. And Division A, third place, Barry Adams, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Anne Marie Lux, The Gazette, Janesville. First place, Elizabeth Snyder, Kenosha News. Business coverage, Division F. Third place, Todd Bergman, The Valders Journal. Second place, Gillian Pumplin, Crawford County Independent, and the Kickapoo Scott Gaze Mills. And first place, Ann Troutner, Kewaskum Statesman. Division E, third place, Bob Zentera, Barron News Shield. Second place, Christopher Murtis, Jennifer Federley, Sun Prairie Star. First place, Steve Prestigard, The Platteville Journal. Division D, third place, Evan Frank, Lake Country Now, Heartland. Second place, Evan Casey, West Now, Wauwatosa. First place, Colleen Kotke, Wisconsin State Farmer, Stevens Point. Division C, third place, Jamie Taylor, The Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Tom LaVenture, Daily Globe, Ironwood. First place, Patty Zarling, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. Division B, third place, Eric Lindquist, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Second place, Anne Marie Hilton, The Sheboygan Press. First place, Megan Stringer, Wausau Daily Herald. Division A, third place, Kelly K. Mesh, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Richard Ryman, Green Bay Press Gazette. First place, Maureen Wallenfang, Post Crescent, Appleton. Reporting on local education, Division F. Third place, Scott DeLarwell, Oregon Observer. Second place, Mary Thompson, The Valders Journal. First place, Madeline Westberg, The Cambridge News and Deerfield Independent. Division E, third place, Emily Massengill, The Monroe Times. Second place, Robert Cloud, Wapaka County Post. First place, Angie Landsberg, Wapaka County Post. Division D, third place, Lee Pulaski, New Media, Shawano. Second place, Ben Rogers, The Press Times, Green Bay. And first place, Maria Lockwood, Superior Telegram. Division C, third place, Craig Spicala, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Second place, Alan Havorka, Karen Madden, Stevens Point Journal. In first place, Melissa Siegler, Natalie Brophy, Daily Tribune, Wisconsin Rapids. Division B, third place, Jake Ekdahl, The Freeman. Second place, Megan Stringer, Laura Schulte, Renee Hickman, Wausau Daily Herald. First place, Sarah Seifert, 
Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, Yvonne Kim, the Cap Times Madison. Second place, Scott Gerard, the Cap Times Madison. First place, Kelly Meyerhofer, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Reporting Local Government, Division F. Third place, Emily Heideman, the Oregon Observer. Second place, Karen Seaman and Madeline Westberg, the Cambridge News and Deerfield Independent. First place, Mackenzie Crummy, the Stoughton Courier Hub. Division E, third place, Jennifer Federley, Sun Prairie Star. Second place, Dennis Hines, Lake Geneva Regional News. First place, Robert Cloud, Wapaka County Post. Division D, third place, Brian Wilson, the Star News Medford. Second place, Gary Ritterbush, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. And first place, Maria Lockwood, Superior Telegram. Division C, third place, Alyssa Schaefer, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. Second place, Melissa Siegler and Caitlin Shuda, Daily Tribune, Wisconsin Rapids. First place, Alan Havorka, Karen Madden, Stevens Point Journal. Division B. Third place, Megan Stringer, Laura Schulte, Wausau, Daily Herald. Second place, Andrew Dowd, The Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. And first place, Olivia Herkin, Lacrosse Tribune. Division A. Third place, Ashley McCollum, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Duke Benke, Post Crescent, Appleton. And first place, Abigail Becker, The Cap Times, Madison. Coronavirus coverage. Division F. Third place, Scott DeLarwell, The Oregon Observer. Second place, Karen Seaman, Madeline Westberg, The Cambridge News, and Deerfield Independent. And first place, Kent Tempest, Oconto County Reporter. Division E, third place, Robert Cloud, Angie Landsberg, and Greg Subert, Wapaka County Post. Second place, Kat Caesar, The Monroe Times. And first place, Jennifer Federley, The Sun Prairie Star. Division D, third place, Brian Wilson, The Star News, Medford. Second place, Jed Carlson, Maria Lockwood, Shelley Nelson, and Jen Zettel Vandenhuten, Superior Telegram. First place, Jim Riccioli, Waukesha County Now. Division C, third place, Staff, Stevens Point Journal. Second place, Chris Higgins, Daily Citizen, Beaver Dam. First place, Craig Spicola, Pam Chickering Wilson, the Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Division B, third place, Ryan Patterson, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Second place, Jake Ekdahl, the Freeman. And first place, the staff, Wausau Daily Herald. Division A, third place, Frank Schultz, the Gazette. Janesville. Second place, David Wahlberg, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. First place, Madeline Heim, the Post Crescent, Appleton. Ongoing extended coverage. Division F. Third place, Kent Tempest, Oconto County Reporter. Second place, Robert Cloud, New London Press Star. First place, Gillian Pumplin, Crawford County Independent, and the Kickapoo Scout, Gaze Mills. Division E, third place, Bob Zentera, Barron News Shield. Second place, Bob Zentera, Barron County Shield. First place, Connor Karinsky, Lake Geneva Regional News. <coughs> Division D, third place, Colleen Kotke, Wisconsin State Farmer, Stevens Point. Second place, Evan Casey, West Now, Wauwatosa. 
And first place, Kevin Boneski, The Press Times, Green Bay. Division C, third place, Jamie Taylor, Heather Schaefer, The Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Alyssa Schaefer, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. First place, Alan Havorka, Karen Madden, Stevens Point Journal. Division B, third place, Staff, The Wausau Daily Herald. Second place, Austin Montgomery, Hillary Gavin, Beloit Daily News. And first place, Sarah Seifert, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, Deneen Smith, Kenosha News. Second place, Eric Schmolt, John Berry, The Gazette, Janesville. First place, Emily Hamer, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Environmental Reporting. Division F, third place, Todd Bergman, The Valder's Journal. Second place, Ed Byrne, The Brilliant News. First place, Charlie Preusser, Crawford County Independent, and the Kickapoo Scout, Gaze Mills. Division D, third place, Roberta Bauman, The Wanakee Tribune. Second place, Evan Casey, West Now, Wauwatosa. First place, Shireen Seward, Wausau Pilot and Review. Division B. Third place, Eric Lindquist, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Second place, Megan Stringer, Wausau Daily Herald. First place, Olivia Herkin, Lacrosse Tribune. Division A. Third place, Chris Hubbock, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Frank Schultz, The Gazette, Janesville. First place, Stephen Elbow, The Cap Times, Madison. Enterprise and Interpretive Reporting. Division F. Third place, Mackenzie Crummy, The Stoughton Courier Hub. Second place, Sarah Wyatt, Lake Mills Leader. First place, Peter Weinshank, The Record Review, Edgar. Division D, third place, Elliot Hughes, Southwest Now, West Allis. Second place, Eddie Morales, North Shore Now, Port Washington. First place, Maria Lockwood, Superior Telegram. Division C, third place, Jamie Taylor, the Northwoods River News Rhinelander. Second place, Susan Endress, Baraboo News Republic. And first place, Pam Chickering Wilson, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Division B, third place, Olivia Hurkin, Lacrosse Tribune. Second place, Austin Montgomery, Beloit Daily News. First place, Eric Lindquist, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, David Wahlberg, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Stephen Elbow, The Cap Times, Madison. First place, Stephen Elbow, The Cap Times, Madison. Investigative Reporting. Division A, third place, Chris Lenhard, The Portage County Gazette, Stevens Point. Second place, Karen Parker, The County Line, Ontario. First place, Tom Stangle, April Zemer, Amory Free Press. Division D, third place, Andrew Donahy, Trempolo County Times, Whitehall. Second place, Evan Frank, Lake Country Now, Heartland. First place, Richard Moore, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Division B, third place, Nathaniel Shuda, Debbie Shastra, Lydia Slattery, Oshkosh Northwestern. Second place, Terry Peterson, Daily Citizen, Beaver Dam. First place, Olivia Herkin, Lacrosse Tribune. Division A, third place, Kelly Meyerhofer, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Doug Schneider, USA Today Network, Wisconsin. First place, Natalie Yar, Caitlin Farrell, The Cap Times, Madison.
Breaking news reporting. Division F, third place. David Timmerman, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Second place, Sarah Wyatt, Lake Mills Leader. First place, Dean Laser, Tribune Record Gleaner, Loyal. Division E, third place, Jennifer Federley, Sun Prairie Star. Second place, Cat Caesar, The Monroe Times. First place, Steve Prestigard, The Platteville Journal. Division D, third place, Jeff Rummage, North Shore Now, Port Washington. Second place, Hannah Kirby, Waukesha County Now. First place, Shireen Seward, Darren Seward, Wausau Pilot and Review. Division C, third place, Karen Madden, Melissa Siegler, Daily Tribune, Wisconsin Rapids. Second place, Melissa Siegler, Karen Madden, Stevens Point Journal. In first place, Christine Spangler, Pam Chickering Wilson, and Craig Spicala, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Division B, third place, Staff, Wausau Daily Herald. Second place, Hillary Gavin, Beloit Daily News. First place, Andrew Dowd, Sarah Seifert, Leader Telegram Eau Claire. Division A, third place, Jonah Bellicus, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Emily Hamer, Chris Hubbock, and Logan Rogi, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. First place, Staff, Kenosha News. Sports Feature Story, Division F. Third place, Jack Miller, Milton Courier. Second place, Mark Nesbitt, the Stoughton Courier Hub. First place, A.J. Gates, Grant County Herald Independent, Lancaster. Division E, third place, Andrew Tucker, Lake Geneva Regional News. Second place, Jason Niles, the Platteville Journal. And first place, Jeff Sizer, Sun Prairie Star. Division D, third place, Brian Wilson, The Star News, Medford. Second place, Kurt Hoag, West Now, Wauwatosa. First place, Rich Palzewick, The Press Times, Green Bay. Division C, third place, Stephanie Kuski, Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Gerald Russian. The Reporter, Fond du Lac. First place, Jeremy Mayo, Northwoods, River News, Rhinelander. Division B, third place, Peter Jackal, The Journal Times, Racine. Second place, Tom Dombeck, Wausau Daily Herald. And first place, Josh Flickinger, Beloit Daily News. Division A, third place, Dan Trutchell, Kenosha News. Second place, Nicholas Garten, Cat Times, Madison. First place, Eric Schmolt, The Gazette, Janesville. Sports News Story, Division F. Third place, Adam Feiner, Stoughton Courier Hub. Second place, Mark Nesbitt, The Oregon Observer. First place, Adam Feiner, Mark Nesbitt, The Verona Press. Division E, third place, Jeff Sizer, Sun Prairie Star. Second place, Jason Niles, Platteville Journal. First place, Mark Hutchinson, Oconomowoc Enterprise. Division D, third place, Doug Etten, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Second place, Gary Ritterbush and Doug Etten, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. And first place, Rich Palzewick, The Press Times, Green Bay. Division C, third place, Jason Juno, Daily Globe, Ironwood. Second place, Jack Miller, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. And first place, Gerald Russian, The Reporter, Fond du Lac. Division B, third place, Todd Sommerfeld, La Crosse Tribune. Second place, Tom Dombeck, The Sheboygan Press. First place, Gerald Russian, Oshkosh Northwestern. 
In Division A, third place, Eric Schmolt, the Gazette Janesville. Second place, John Masson, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. First place, Scott Vency, Green Bay Press Gazette. Localized National Story. Division F. Third place, Gillian Pomplin, Crawford County Independent and the Kickapoo Scout, Gaze Mills. Second place, Julia Wolf, Courier Sentinel, Cornell. First place, Gillian Pomplin, Crawford County Independent and the Kickapoo Scout, Gaze Mills. Division E, third place, Robert Cloud, Angie Landsberg, Wapaka County Post. Second place, Adam Krebs, The Monroe Times. First place, Dennis Hines, Lake Geneva Regional News. Division D, third place, Heather Graves, The Press Times Gazette, Green Bay. Second place, Colleen Kotke, Wisconsin State Farmer, Stevens Point. First place, Frank Zufel, Sawyer County Record, Hayward. Division C, third place, Parker Reed, the Chippewa Herald. Second place, Jamie Taylor, the Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. First place, Craig Spicala, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Division B, third place, Peter Jackal, the Journal Times Racine. Second place, Todd Sommerfeld, La Crosse Tribune. First place, Sarah Seifert, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, David Wahlberg, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Shelley K. Mesh, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. First place, Frank Schultz, The Gazette, Janesville. Feature story, profile. Division F, third place, Emily Schindel, Fenimore Times. Second place, Mackenzie Crummy, The Oregon Observer. First place, Kevin Damask, Columbus Journal. Division E, third place, Mitchell Keller, Dodge County Pioneer, Mayville. Second place, Kat Caesar, The Monroe Times. First place, Chris Leonard, The Portage County Gazette, Stevens Point. Division D, third place, Hannah Kirby, South Now, Oak Creek. Second place, Karen Pilarski, West Now, Wauwatosa. First place, Evan Casey, West Now, Wauwatosa. Division C, third place, Ed Zagorski, Watertown Daily Times. Second place, Emily Kester, Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. And first place, Sharon Rosnick, The Reporter, Fond du Lac. Division B, third place, Ryan Patterson, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Second place, Eric Lee, La Crosse Tribune. First place, Eric A. Johnson, The Journal Times, Racine. Division A, third place, Barry Adams, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Frank Vesvilas, Green Bay Press Gazette. And first place, Duke Benke, The Post Crescent, Appleton. Feature story, non-profile. Division F, third place, Bill Thornley, Spooner Advocate. Second place, Laura Breuer, Washington Island Observer. First place, Kimberly Wethel, The Verona Press. Division E, third place, Jason Niles, The Platteville Journal. Second place, Steve Prestigard, Platteville Journal. First place, Kat Caesar, The Monroe Times. Division D, third place, Hannah Kirby, North Shore Now, Port Washington. Second place, Emily Kester, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. First place, Evan Casey, West Now, Wauwatosa. Division C, third place, Nate Beck, The Daily Reporter, Milwaukee. Second place, Craig Spicala, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. First place, Ed Zagorski, Watertown Daily Times. Division B, third place, Emily Pyrek, 
Lacrosse Tribune. Second place, Eric A. Johnson, the Journal Times Racine. First place, Eric Lindquist, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, Yvonne Kim, the Cap Times Madison. Second place, Scott Gerard, the Cap Times Madison. And first place, Natalie Yar, the Cap Times Madison. General News Story, Division F. Third place, Charles Preusser, Crawford County Independent and the Kickapoo Scout, Gays Mills. Second place, Kevin O'Brien, the Tribune Phonograph, Abbotsford. First place, Dean Laser, Tribune Record Gleaner, Loyal. Division E, third place, Tim Wallers, Wanakee, Tribune. Second place, Dennis Hines, Lake Geneva Regional News. First place, Cat Caesar, The Monroe Times. Division D, third place, Evan Casey, West Now, Wauwatosa. Second place, Jim Riccioli, Waukesha County Now. And first place, Miles Danhausen Jr., Peninsula Pulse, Bailey's Harbor. Division C, third place, Rich Jenkins, Daily Globe, Ironwood. Second place, Sharon Rosnick, The Reporter, Fond du Lac. First place, Parker Reed, The Chippewa Herald. Division B, third place, Diane Dombrowski, Sheboygan Press. Second place, Dan Katowski, Eagle Herald, Marinette. And first place, Emmy Pyrek, Lacrosse Tribune. Division A, third place, Scott Gerard, The Cap Times, Madison. Second place, Emily Hamer, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. First place, Deneen Smith, Kenosha News. All around newspaper photography. Weekly division. Third place, Brian Thompson, The Balders Journal. Second place, Jed Carlson, Maria Lockwood, Superior Telegram. First place, Gary Ritterbush, Michelle Drew, Doug Etten, Kurt Krieger, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division. Second place, Dan Ryland, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. First place, Steve Apps, Amber Arnold, John Hart, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Open Records, Freedom of Information Award. Weekly Division. First place, Scott Williams, Lake Geneva Regional News. Second place, Richard Moore, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. First place, Steve Prestigard, Kayla Barnes, Charlie Preusser, The Platteville Journal. Daily Division. Third place, Scott Milfred, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Second place, Nathaniel Shuda, Lydia Slattery, Chris Miller, Shane Nyman, Oshkosh Northwestern. First place, Lydia Shatter Slatterly, Chris Miller, Sarah Rasner, Nathaniel Shuda, Oshkosh Northwestern. Community Engagement Award, Weekly Division. Third place, Angie Griepentrog, The Freedom Pursuit. Second place, Tony Ruthven, Gary Ritterbush, Michelle Drew, Kurt Krieger, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River, and first place, the staff of Lake Geneva Regional News. Daily Division, third place, Chris Murphy, Paul Fanlin, Mike Corneman, The Cap Times, Madison. Second place, Brianna Riley, Chris Murphy, The Cap Times, Madison. And first place, Brandon Reed, Herald Times Reporter, Manitowoc. Editorial Award, Division F. Third place, Peter Weinshank, The Record Review, Edgar. Second place, Karen Seaman, The Cambridge News and Deerfield Independent. First place, Brian Wilson, Courier Sentinel, Cornell. Division E, third place, Chris Murtis, Sun Prairie Star. Second place, Robert Ireland, Lake Geneva Regional News. First place, Steve Prestigard, 
The Platteville Journal. Division D. Third place, Brian Wilson. The Star News, Medford. Second place, The Staff, Lady Smith News. First place, Kurt Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Michelle Drew, Doug Atten, Vilas County, News Review, Eagle River. Division B. Third place, Greg Walker, Richard Moore, The Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Editorial Board, The Journal Times, Racine. In first place, Liam Marlaire, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. Division A, third place, John Nichols, Dave Zwiefel, Jesse Opoyan, The Cap Times, Madison. Second place, Scott Milford, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. And first place, the editorial board of the Kenosha News. Best headlines, Division F, third place, Bill Thornley, Spooner Advocate. Second place, Mary Thompson, The Valder's Journal. First place, Carl Cooley, Chatech Alert. Division D, third place, Carol Rychek, Lee Pulaski, New Media, Shawno. Second place, Adam Krebs, The Monroe Times. First place, Steve Prestigard, The Platteville Journal. Daily Division, third place, Tim Seaman, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, the sports staff of the Journal Times Racine. First place, Jeremy Mayo, Jamie Taylor, Heather Schaefer, The Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Best Special Section Editorial, Division F. Third place, Brian Thompson, Todd Bergman, The Valder's Journal. Second place, Darcy Zander Feinauer, David Nordby, The Brilliant News. First place, Brian Thompson, Todd Bergman, The Valder's Journal. Division D. Third place, Brian Jopek, Kayla Halp, Delaney Fitzpatrick, The Lakeland Times, Manaqua. Second place, Women of the Newsroom, Hudson Star Observer. First place, Steve Gardner, Sally Shepard, Tom Linfors, Mike Longacre, Hudson Star Observer. Division C. Third place, Larry Holcomb, Daily Globe, Ironwood. Second place, Larry Holcomb, Daily Globe, Ironwood. And first place, Scrake Pacala, Daily Jefferson County Union, Fort Atkinson. Division B. Third place, Jim Franz, Josh Flickinger, Erica Pennington, Beloit Daily News. Second place, the staff of the Beloit Daily News. And first place, Dan Katowski, Newsroom Staff, Eagle Herald Marinette. Division A, first place, Dave Von Falkenstein, The Gazette, Janesville. Best Feature Lifestyle Pages, Weekly Division. Third place, Steve Gardner, Hudson Star Observer. Second place, Chris Frame, Becky Gaskill, Lakeland Times, Manaqua. First place, Michelle Drew, Gary Ritterbush, Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. Daily Division. Third place, Tim Seaman, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Greg Little, The Gazette, Janesville. First place, Dan Muckelbauer, Daily News, West Bend. Best Sports Pages. Division F. Third place, Bill Thornley, Spooner Advocate. Second place, Jack Miller, Milton Courier. First place, Jeff Sizer, The Courier, Waterloo. Division E. Third place, Jeff Sizer, Sun Prairie Star. Second place, Jason Niles, The Platteville Journal. First place, Adam Krebs, The Monroe Times. Division D. Third place, Doug Etten and Gary Ritterbush of the Vilas County News Review, Eagle River. Second place, Bob Burroughs, Dave Newman, Hudson Star Observer. First place, Matt Fry, 
The Star News, Medford. Daily Division. Third place, Jeremy Mayo, Bob Mainhart. Northwoods River News, Rhinelander. Second place, Brandon Berg, the Chippewa Herald. And first place, John Barry, Tom Miller, Eric Schmolt, the Gazette, Janesville. Best Opinion Pages. Weekly Division. Third place, Steve Prestigard, the Platteville Journal. Second place, Kurt Krieger, Gary Ritterbush, Michelle Drew, Doug Etten, the Bylas County News Review, Eagle River. First place, Ann Jacobson, Hudson Star Observer. Daily Division. Second place, Liam Marlaire, Leader Telegram, Eau Claire. And first place, Scott Milford, Phil Hands, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Best Front Page. Division F, third place, Robert Cloud, Cody Pop, New London Press Star. Second place, Sarah Wyatt, Lake Mills Leader. First place, Bill Thornley, Julie Hustavet, Spooner Advocate. Division E, third place, Robert Cloud, Cody Pop, Walpaca County Post. Second place, Emily Massengill, Monroe Times, and first place, the staff of the Lake Geneva Regional News. Division D, third place, Brian Wilson, the Star News, Medford. Second place, Ryan Miller, Brett Kostleiter, Jacob Danhausen, Brunn, David Elliott, Peninsula Pulse, Bailey's Harbor. And first place, the staff, Hudson Star Observer. Daily Division. Third place, Staff, Beloit Daily News. Second place, the Staff, Kenosha News. And first place, Tim Seaman, Greg Little, Sean Sensaba, Shari Rampenthal of the Gazette, Janesville. General Excellence. Division F. Third place, Spooner Advocate. Second place, Lake Mills Leader. First place, The Valder's Journal. Division D. Third place, Superior Telegram. Second place, Sawyer County Record, Hayward. First place, Hudson Star Observer. Daily Division. Third place, The Gazette, Janesville. Second place, Beloit Daily News. And first place, Wisconsin State Journal, Madison. Congratulations to all of the individual winners. Now we will move on to the awarding of the overall newspaper winners in each division. The individual newspapers winning this award were selected based on receiving the most points in their circulation divisions. Newspapers are awarded eight points for each first place award, four points for each second place award, and two points for each third place award. In the general excellence category, points are doubled. The highest scoring newspaper across all three weekly divisions also is named our weekly newspaper of the year, and the top scorer across all three daily divisions is named Daily Newspaper of the Year. Wow, what, what an honor um, to be selected as best in division. Even though we're in the small, small, smallest circulation division, it's still quite an honor to be named up there with some of the other 
great newspapers in the state. Uh, of course, we couldn't do this without a very dedicated staff, uh, starting with my wife, Mary, my, my right hand woman. Uh, <laughs> she's, she's there late at night with me on the Tuesday night, uh, deadline night. Um, and we have three other staff members that have been with us for a long time. Uh, my graphic artist, Greg, um, 25, I don't even know exactly how many years, 25, 30 years. Um, reporter Todd Bergman has been with us for a dozen years, and he, he's really a news junkie and puts in a lot of hard work for us. And um, uh, Dawn Kuntz is kind of a jack of all trades for us. She is a receptionist, uh, does some uh, inside sales calls. Uh, circulation manager and bookkeeper, and, and that's our staff. And, and everyone pitches in on mail day, and you know, to get the newspaper mailed out. And uh, I, I guess uh, you know, along with getting this award, this great award, we've also seen a reaction from our readers. We've added circulation when I think other papers are maybe struggling. Uh, there isn't. There is a hunger out there in the public for news and newspapers, and uh, we really appreciate that. I mean, we've added subscribers in the past year, and, and what a year it has been. It's really challenged us uh, with the COVID and shutdowns and nothing happening last uh, spring and into the summer, nothing to cover. So we had to, to really uh, reinvent ourselves a little bit and come up with ideas for coverage. Um, so... You know, it's been a tough year, but uh, this is icing on the cake uh, to, to win an award like this. And um, I want to thank the WNA Foundation for continuing to sponsor the uh, Better Newspaper Contest. Um, we, we try our best to help on the other end by judging other state contests. And we pick up a lot of ideas that way and we copy, copy them um, so we're not reinventing the wheel. Learn a lot from that. And I encourage other publishers that maybe have gotten away from the Better Newspaper Contest to really consider doing uh, doing that again to put their the reporters, photographers, and graphic artists work out there to be judged by others and get the recognition they deserve. Um, I really look forward to the day, hopefully a year from now, when we can gather as an association. Um, together in one room and celebrate the great work of uh, journalism in the state of Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Matt Johnson, publisher of Morris Media of Monroe, and on behalf of the Monroe Times, I would like to thank the Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation for its award on behalf of the Monroe Times in the weekly circulation division that we participate in in the Better Newspaper Contest. It's been a great year for our editor, Adam Krebs, reporter, Shannon Robotsky, our pre-press director, Jamie Tran, our advertising director, Laura Hughes, her team of Diane Albright, Ty Rugsiger, and Lance Ray. Also our circulation department of Tina Curran, Peggy Gobley, Randall Patterson, and Perry Edge. And our business department of Kathy Pierce and Nikki Van Natta. Furthermore, I'd like to thank John Ingebrigtsen, who is the Morris Newspaper Corporation of Wisconsin president. Um, Charles Morris, the owner of Morris Multimedia, and our company CFO, Jeff Samuels. Uh, it's indeed an honor to have won a um, Best of Division Award two out of the last three years um, in different circulation categories and in different frequency categories. So that's, that's quite an honor. I'd like to thank uh, and, uh, and congratulate all of those who entered in this year's contest, which is very important and all of those who won awards. Um, this is uh, the first time I have ever accepted an award on behalf of an institution wearing both a button-down shirt 
and a pair of pajama pants. And I hope that this is the last time um, and we're all able to come together next year, um, celebrate as one and uh, recognize the, the great work that everyone does as journalists in protecting the people's right to know in Wisconsin and as advertising representatives in helping grow business. Thank you very much. And thanks to the Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation. Krieger here from the Vilas County News Review in Eagle River, a.k.a. God's Country. On behalf of my great staff, thank you to the Wisconsin Newspaper Association for its Better Newspaper Contest. And to all those who've entered this year and in past years, um, for the, the process itself is a, a catalyst for quality journalism, uh, friendly competition, and a personal pride that, in my mind, is uh, the foundation for um, newspapering excellence. Um, editor Gary Ritterbush, uh, my graphic artist Betsy Bolden and I have been chasing down awards and in-division honors together for 35 years. And this is a first ever, uh, this first ever weekly newspaper of the year is a culmination of all that effort. Uh, of course, it's, it's always been a team effort uh, from right down to production and sales, editorial, mailroom, bookkeeping, um, everybody plays a role in the success of a community newspaper. Um, for us, this is sort of a David versus Goliath moment uh, for us and our, our editorial staff of two people. Um, because um, in Division D, there are um, many papers that have double, triple, or even higher, uh, larger staffs than that. Um, I'm proud to be associated with this extremely talented but small uh, group of people. Um, thank you all. Uh, God bless uh, the newspapers of Wisconsin and America. like to thank the uh, WNA staff for the great job they did putting this together. These awards mean a lot to the Newspaper Association and, and the job that the staff does getting this done and recognizing our hard work is greatly appreciated. And I'd really like to thank my staff at the, at the River News for their uh, outstanding performance in winning Best in Division. I think it's a testament to their hard work and I'm truly grateful and thankful for the people that I have working for me, not only at the River News, but at the Lakeland Times, because they strive every week to put out great products. Sue Mizell here, publisher of the Daily Globe, located in Ironwood, Michigan, which is on the western edge of the spectacular Upper Peninsula. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude that the Daily Globe was selected as the co-winner of the Best in Division Award for our newspaper class. 
It's truly an honor to have my staff members' work recognized in this way by the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. It means a great deal to me that what we're so passionate about resonates with our peers, and I hope this recognition can be serve as an inspiration to others in the industry. Congratulations to each of my 27 staff members. You guys rock. Monday, lunch is on me. And to all this watching, thank you for sharing in this happy event. Stay safe, wear a mask, use hand sanitizer. We got this. Well, thank you. The award really speaks to the professionalism, experience, and dedication to our purpose as a community newspaper by the staff and managers at the Leader Telegram. Think about the year. Drama in Washington, drama in Madison, and drama locally. A pandemic that greatly impacted our personal and professional lives. This team stuck together, provided relevant content and information to our print and digital audiences, all produced, manufactured, and delivered on time. It's quite a feat in normal circumstances, even more impressive this past year. On behalf of the managers and staff, thank you to the WNA for this honor, and thank you to the staff and management at the Leader Telegram for their great work. And thank you especially to our subscribers who make it all possible. everybody thank you so much for this tremendous award thank you to wna for continuing the process of making print media and newspaper media companies so important and the sharing of information with our local communities i want to congratulate the james Le gazette on newspaper of the year all the content creators sid and a great staff that puts all the content into the paper the designers the composers our account executives our production people everybody that contributes to this great, great accomplishment. Uh, I'm humbled by the fact that we are a repeat winner of Newspaper of the Year and certainly joining in uh, late summer of last year, I had no idea that what a year would be. It's been a tough year for all of us, uh, for some more than others. And uh, this is a great, great award to reflect on, on being successful in a great year. So we're grateful for the opportunity to do this. We're grateful for the award. We're humbled by it. And my congratulations to everyone at the Janesville Gazette and any APG paper uh, in uh, Wisconsin, including Randy Rickman and his team up in uh, northern Wisconsin for their recognition as well. But congratulations to everybody and congratulations to my team. You did a great job. Proud of you. Congratulations to all the winners and thanks to everyone for participating in this year's virtual WNA Foundation Better Newspaper Contest Awards Program. Be sure to check out the judges' comments and the winning clips in the Digital Awards tab and Virtual Awards display. And don't forget to share your celebratory snapshots with everyone by tagging the WNA on Facebook and Twitter.
We have one final award to give tonight. It's the Presidential Award to WNA Executive Director Beth Bennett. This is a new award that, as far as I know, was never has never been presented before in the 168-year history of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. But it was brought to my attention during my term as WNA president by former WNA president and former National Newspaper Association president. Andrew Johnson. He said that there was someone who deserves and has earned the first Wisconsin Newspaper Association President's Award. The President's Award is presented to someone who has served the WNA as an executive director since 2010. The WNA Board of Directors unanimously approved presenting this first WNA President's Award to Beth Bennett for her fearless, fantastic, tireless, amazing work and dedication for the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. Please allow me to read the inscription on the President's Award being presented to our Executive Director, Beth Bennett. Presidential Citation of Merit, presented to Beth Bennett in appreciation of exceptional dedication, and courageous leadership, March 19, 2020. Many of you may not know Beth personally as I do, but I am honored to call her my friend. She is the best. Given our limited time, I refer you to the WNA website, wnanews.com slash staff to learn more about Beth and the rest of the WNA team. Thanks so much, Beth, for all you do for us. Well, thank you for your kind words, Paul. Um, To say that I'm surprised by this amazing recognition is an understatement. Um, The work that I've been able to do um, over the past 10 years as your executive director is due to the uh, support of the member newspapers, the commitment of the many amazing uh, boards of directors that I've had the privilege to work with and for um, uh, throughout the years, um, both through the association board and the foundation board. The the commitment of the boards of directors to maintaining a, a strong statewide newspaper association is really to be applauded. And of course, um, I have to thank um, the amazing staff of the WNA. They're just a wonderful uh, group. And uh, it's a real privilege to work with them every day. Um, Wisconsin is an amazing newspaper state. We do great things. We produce great work. And I firmly believe that we really do set the example for how newspapering should be done for the rest of the country. So um, I look forward to continuing to represent you and the members of the WNA uh, and to protecting the um, integrity of the newspapers of this of this state. So again, thank you so very much for this this honor. Um, I I appreciate it more than than words can say. Thank you very much. Wow, that was some great journalism. What a terrific program. Well, got to get back to work. Got a newspaper to put out. What's this? Looks like somebody got some cheese on this award. I'm gonna have to call the Newspaper Association next week and get this rectified.